Now the BJP has hit out at the Congress party saying this is clear duplicity by the Congress party and they are only trying to distance themselves from the misdeeds of one of their own. Listen in. This is an old habit of Congress party. When they get in the wrong foot, they distance themselves. But it's not going to affect. The people of this country know that what, whatever 300 crores has been recovered is just the tip of the iceberg. This liquor scam is going in not only one state. It's connected from Jharkhand to Chhattisgarh. And let me tell you, many former CM of Congress are also involved in this. We have been telling this for the last one and a half months. This money was actually, it's a pocket money. In every parts of India, this pocket money is there. And this is just being assembled for the Lok Sabha elections. देखिए एक बात तो स्पष्ट हो गई कि कांग्रेस का हाथ काले धन के साथ है अभी तक हमारी सूचना के अनुसार 400 से ज्यादा करोड़ रुपए कैश की गिनती सांसद धीरज साहू के विभिन्न ठिकानों में हो चुकी है और ये आंकड़ा संभवतः 500 करोड़ कैश की ओर बढ़ रहा है और आप सोचे सिर्फ कैश की बात कर रहे हैं अभी तो उनके प्रॉपर्टीज के लॉकर्स खुलने बाकी है प्रॉपर्टीज को खंगालना बाकी है तो जो कांग्रेस जिस तरीके से करप्शन में डूबी रही है देश को लूटा है एक बार फिर से एक्सपोज हो गए और आज राहुल गांधी और प्रियंका गांधी शायद इसलिए चुप हैं कि ये ना सिर्फ एक सांसद थे बल्कि कांग्रेस के खजांची भी थे और कांग्रेस पार्टी की शायद फंडिंग भी होती थी तो ये तो पैसा मुझे लगता है कांग्रेस के शीर्ष नेतृत्व तक पहुंचता था तभी अभी तक राहुल गांधी और प्रियंका गांधी ने अपनी जुबान नहीं खोली Let's go across to my colleague Abhishek, who is joining us on the broadcast from outside the residence of the Congress leader. Uh, the raids still taking place, multiple other locations also being identified. Abhishek, over the last five days now, the raids and the counting of money still going on. 200 bags have been brought in by the income tax officials. They've been filled with cash that was found at the locations linked to the Congress leader. And it's still being counted. The officials are still there. What's happening? Well, absolutely. Now the count has begun and uh, it is about 200 bags which has been recovered from the associate, from the companies as well as the from the residences of the uh, Dheeraj Sahu Congress MP. Right now we are standing at Sh uh, Sushila Niketan which is Rachi based uh, uh, his house and here also the income tax team is inside and this is the fifth consecutive day and raids have been carried out in various places like at Rachi, Sabalpur, uh, Titagar, Baud, Raud. Kela, Sauragar and in Bhubaneswar, Odisha as well as the uh, Kolkata region and uh, till uh, yesterday it was estimated that around 290 crore rupees were recovered from uh, Dheeraj Sahu's uh, associates and his uh, different different uh, you know location. The CISF and the paramilitary team is also inside. You can see in the visuals they are also uh, here to protect the uh, you know uh, the whole raid team and uh, it is the uh, five member uh, sorry five raid teams uh, IT teams which are conducting this whole raid operation. The Sahu family has old association with the Congress party and this is why the whole political, uh, you know, uh, reshuffle and the political drama is going around in national capital as well as the uh, Jharkhand in, in, and uh, the IT department is also, you know, expected to uh, recover more amount. They are also going to conduct several raids at different places you know, which are unknown and un un unidentified by, uh, you know, different associates of Dheeraj Sahu. So right now while we are talking, the raid is going okay. on and we are expecting some more bags to come from this house also. Okay. And yesterday and around...